What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install Windows on your Mac absolutely for free. And this is for Metal Macs as well. This is not for um, the old Intel Macs where you could use Boot Camp. As you know, the new Metal Macs don't support Boot Camp and the only way you can really get uh, Windows on it is with an expensive program like Parallels. But thankfully, there's an alternative. Before we get started, huge shout out to Geeks Outfit. I have my Life Happens Coffee Helps t-shirt here, which I absolutely love. You can get a bunch of uh, great apparel and accessories. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, so onto the video itself, how can we install Windows on a Mac? Well, first we have to download Windows and thankfully there's a utility to do so. We're gonna use an app called Crystal Fetch. So it's in the App Store, it is a uh, certified app and everything. And we're just gonna open that app once it's installed. And here you can choose which version you'd like to download. You can download Windows 11, Windows 10, we're gonna do Windows 11. And then you can choose whether you want the uh, Apple Silicon or ARM64 version or the Intel x86 version, which has to be virtualized. So you're gonna get a lot better performance on the Apple Silicon version. So we're gonna choose that. And then we'll choose our language and edition. So we're gonna choose the Windows 11 edition, that's fine, and hit download. We'll accept the terms of service and it will start downloading the file. Once it finishes downloading, you can choose where you wanna place that. So we're just gonna place it in our downloads folder so it's easy to remember. And we can go ahead and close Crystal Fetch. Easy enough. Now we need a way to actually install this. So now's the fun part. We're gonna to go to Chrome or your favorite browser and we're gonna to go to the uh, UTM app GitHub page and you'll notice that this is available for iOS as well, but we're gonna go ahead and download this on uh, Mac. So let's find the latest version here. Scroll down and you'll see that the Mac version is a damage file or DMG file. So it's utm.damage, let's go ahead and click on that and it will download in the top right corner. Let's go ahead and open that file. And now we're simply gonna drag UTM into the applications folder. Now we can close this and open up UTM. So here's the interface. What we wanna do is create a new virtual machine. You can also browse the UTM gallery, which will allow you to get the instructions on how to install all these other versions of Linux and uh, Windows as well. But we're gonna close that for now and create a new virtual machine. Now we can choose to virtualize, which is faster, uh, but can only run on the native CPU architecture, so ARM64 or Metal. That's what we want to use. Um, unless you're installing the 64-bit uh, version of Windows, in which case you'll need to choose Emulate. So we're gonna choose Virtualize here. And then we have some pre-configured options. We're gonna choose Windows, and then we're gonna choose the uh, boot ISO image. So we'll go to Browse and go to this uh, ISO that was downloaded. So this is our Windows disk. And then we have drivers and spice tools uh, that can be automatically installed. We'll go ahead and make sure this is checked. That way after the installation, it will uh, install everything it needs so that you can get all that uh, compatibility between uh, your Mac and the Windows machine. Uh, let's go ahead and click on continue. We can choose how much memory to give it. We'll leave this at default. I have eight gigs of memory, so I'm gonna give it four. And then we'll leave our CPU cores at default, but you can specify how many you'd like to leave as well. But I'm gonna leave it at default, so we'll hit continue. Then you can choose the size of the drive. I'll just leave that at 64 gigs since we're just doing a, a small base install. We'll hit continue. You can make a shared directory here. So if we choose a location, for example, our solid state drive and hit open, then uh, this location will be accessible with uh, Windows or Mac. So it's kind of like a shared folder, which is nice. And then you'll get a, a summary of all of these settings you've set. Let's go ahead and hit save and hit the start button to boot the machine. So now we're gonna press a key so that it uh, boots into the ISO. And here's the installer. Let's go ahead and continue through this as we normally would on a machine. So we'll choose our keyboard method. We'll choose, I don't have a product key for now. We can choose Windows 11 Pro and accept the uh, license terms. And here we can see we have our 64 gig drive that we allocated uh, during the UTM installer. Let's go ahead and hit next. and. Windows 11 is installing on Mac OS with metal architecture. Not too bad, right? We'll stick around for a bit and go through the final config and I'll show you uh, how to get through the uh, last bit of the install. All right, so the installation process has uh, finished or at least the ISO based installation process. Now the on-disk installation process has started. Um, the virtual machine restarted and then went to this and the onboarding will start soon. Look at that. So now we'll choose our region. 
keyboard layout, good things coming your way. We'll enter our name, our password, and some security questions that should do. All right, Windows update is in progress and the machine will start soon. The tools will install and it will restart another time and uh, everything should be good to go. All right, so it looks like we're in. Let's go ahead and type our password. Hi, oops, I forgot my light, there it is. Once the uh, operating system starts, you'll see that the guest tools option is now available. Uh, so let's go ahead and go through that installer to finish uh, the last step. We're gonna agree and wait for this to be installed. You'll see display output is not active. Uh, this usually does take a while, so give it a fair amount of time to finish up. You should see the screen resize. And we're just going to restart the machine uh, because it's been a while and last time I did this, I also had to restart. So go ahead and hit restart after, um, you're sure it's been about five minutes or so to let it install. And there it is, Windows on a Metal Mac. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Mike the tech, Mike the tech, yeah. Mike the tech, the architect.